1 Chronicles chapter 26 Regarding the divisions of the gatekeepers, from the Korahites, there was Meshalemia, the son of Kore, from the sons of Azaph. The sons of Meshalemia were as follows, Zechariah the firstborn, Gedeel the second, Zebediah the third, Jathniel the fourth, Elam the fifth, Jehohanan the sixth, and Eliuenai the seventh. Additionally, the sons of Obedidim were Shemaiah the firstborn, Jehazabad the second, Joah the third, Sacher the fourth, and Nathaniel the fifth, Amiel the sixth, Issachar the seventh, and Pulthi the eighth, for God had blessed him. Moreover, Shemaiah's sons, who ruled in their father's house, were strong and capable men. The sons of Shemaiah were Othni, Rephael, Obed, and Elzabad, who were all strong and courageous. In total, there were sixty-two descendants of Obedidim. Meshalemia had eighteen sons and brothers, all of them strong and capable. Hosea, from the children of Merari, also had sons. The chief among them was Simri, though he was not the firstborn. Nevertheless, his father had appointed him as chief. Hosea's other sons included Hilkiah, Tebaliah, Zechariah, and altogether there were thirteen sons and brothers in his family. Among these Levites, the divisions of the gatekeepers were organized, including both the more experienced and the less experienced, to serve in the house of the Lord. They cast lots, both the young and the old, according to their ancestral households, for each of the gates. The lot for the east gate fell to Shelemiah. Then they cast lots for Zechariah his son, a wise counselor, and his lot came out for the north gate. For Obedidim, the south gate was chosen, and for his sons, the storehouses. To Shepham and Hosea, the west gate was assigned, along with the gate Shalcheth, by the ascending causeway. Ward was set against Ward. To the east, there were six Levites, to the north, for a day, to the south, for a day, and at the storehouses, two and two. At Parbar, to the west, there were four at the causeway and two at Parbar. Thus, these divisions of gatekeepers were chosen among the sons of Kore and the sons of Merari. Ahijah was responsible for the treasuries of the house of God and the dedicated gifts among the Levites. From the descendants of Ladan, who were Jershonites, came the chief fathers of Ladan, Jehili. The sons of Jehili were Zetham and Joel, his brother, who were in charge of the treasuries of the house of the Lord. From the descendants of Amram, Izar, Hebron, and Uziel. Shabuel, a descendant of Gershom, the son of Moses, was the chief official in charge of the treasuries. His relatives by Eleazar included Rehabiah his son, Jeshea his son, Joram his son, Zikri his son, and Shelemith his son. Shelemith and his relatives were in charge of all the treasuries of the dedicated gifts that King David, the heads of families, the officers of thousands and hundreds, and the army commanders had dedicated. They dedicated some of the plunder taken in battles to maintain the house of the Lord. Everything that Samuel the seer, Saul the son of Kish, Abner son of Nah, and Joab son of Zeruiah had dedicated, all who had dedicated things, was under the care of Shelemith and his relatives. From the Israelites, Shenania and his sons had responsibilities outside the work of Israel as officials and judges. From the Hebronites, Hashabiah and his relatives, Seventeen hundred capable men had various responsibilities in Israel west of the Jordan for all the work of the Lord and for the service of the king. As for the Hebronites, Jerijah was their chief according to the genealogical records of their families. In the fortieth year of David's reign, they were counted, and there were outstanding men among them at Jazza in Gilead. Jerijah's relatives, capable men, numbered two thousand seven hundred heads of families whom King David put in charge of the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh. They were responsible for all matters pertaining to God and the affairs of the king.